Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to put everything we've learned about uncertainties into practice by doing one long exam style question. So if you haven't already done so, check out my other videos on types of uncertainty and percentage and combination uncertainties. And if you understood what we did in those videos, then chances are you're going to be fine with what we do here. So let's get started. So our long exam style question says that a Nat 5 physics student carries out an investigation to calculate the speed of water waves in a tank. A meter stick is used to measure the wavelength of the waves produced. The results obtained are shown below. So we've got this table, frequency in hertz and wavelength in meters, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six sets of results for each. Part A says calculate the scale reading uncertainty in the meter stick based on the readings obtained. Obviously we can't see the meter stick, but we should know from the wavelength readings that the smallest scale division is going to be 0 0.01. So using our relationship that we've learned for reading uncertainty in an analog scale, this is equal to plus or minus half of the smallest scale division. So if our smallest scale division is the 0 0.01 from these readings, then it's going to be plus or minus a half of 0 0.01 meters, which gives us plus or minus 0 0.005 meters. Part B wants us to calculate the mean frequency and its associated random uncertainty. So remember to do the mean, we add up all our measurements and we divide by the number of measurements in total. So we add up the frequencies and we divide by 6 and this gives us a mean of 25 hertz. The random uncertainty in that mean is equal to the maximum value minus the minimum value over n, which is equal to the biggest value is 26, take away the smallest number is 24, divided by 6, gives us a random uncertainty of plus or minus 0.33 hertz to two significant figures. Now it's okay because remember one or two is appropriate. Even though the question doesn't ask for this, we might as well write it in absolute form because that's going to help us with some later questions where we get the percentage uncertainty. So we have 25 plus or minus 0.33 hertz. Part C is very similar but this time it's the mean wavelength and its associated random uncertainty that we're looking for. So looking at the wavelength values this time, the mean is equal to the sum of measurements over n which is equal to adding them all up over 6, which is equal to 0 0.55 meters. The random uncertainty then is equal to maximum value minus the minimum value over n, which is 0 0.57, take away 0 0.53 over 6, which gives us plus or minus 0 0.0067 meters. Again, two significant figures for a random uncertainty. So writing this in absolute form, even though the question didn't ask for it, we get 0 0.55 plus or minus 0 0.0067 meters. Part D says to calculate the percentage uncertainty in the frequency. So to do this, we're going to need our answer to part B. So let's look at that. So to get the percentage uncertainty, we're going to take our 0 0.33 divided by the 25 and times 100, as shown here. So percentage uncertainty equals absolute uncertainty over measurement times 100, which is 0 0.33 over 25 times 100, which equals plus or minus 1.32%. Part E says to calculate the percentage uncertainty in the wavelength this time. So we're going to have to look at the answer to part C for this one. So we're going to take our uncertainty of 0 0.0067, divide it by the 0 0.55 and times by 100 to get our percentage uncertainty, as shown here. So the percentage uncertainty equals absolute uncertainty over the measurement times 100, which is equal to 0 0.0067 over 0 0.55 times 100, which equals plus or minus 1.22%. Our two percentage uncertainties are quite similar, but we can see the frequency actually has the higher percentage uncertainty. Part F then says to calculate the wave speed and its associated uncertainty written in the form of speed plus or minus absolute uncertainty in brackets with meters per second coming after it. So let's get the wave speed first of all. So writing down what we know, we're trying to find the speed. The frequency is equal to 25 hertz. So that's the mean value we're taking and the mean wavelength we're taking is 0 0.55 meters. So starting with the wave equation, we have V equals F lambda, and substituting in our numbers, we have 25 times 0 0.55, and this gives us a final answer of 14 meters per second once we round it to two significant figures. Now let's get the uncertainty in our speed. Well, to do that, we need to choose the largest percentage uncertainty from our quantities, the frequency and the wavelength, so it's going to be the uncertainty in speed is equal to the largest percentage uncertainty, which was the plus or minus 1.32%. Then converting back into the absolute uncertainty, we have 1.32% of 14 equals 0 0.0132 times 14, which gives us plus or minus 0 0.18 meters per second. And finally, writing this in absolute form, we have V equals 14 plus or minus 0 0.18 meters per second, again to two significant figures. That's all for this video guys, I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.
Whoa.